بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على النبي الأمي برحمتك يا رحمة الرحيمين الله أكبر one of the ayat that we heard is in chapter chapter fourteen of the Quran Kareem which is Surah Ibrahim and Allah سبحانه وتعالى tells us about a pure tree. Adam Tarakifa Darab Allahu Mathalan Kalima. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Do you see how Allah presents forth a good example, a good parable? And that is of a pure tree, Kashajaratin Tayyiba. And what is this tree? Asluha Thabit. Its roots are deep in the ground, it's deep rooted. And its branches reach out far into the skies. Then Allah says in this chapter, Tu'ti ukulaha kullahin. This tree bears fruit in all seasons. Kullahinin. Due to Allah's permission. Bi'idhni rabbiha. Wa yadribu Allahu al-amthala lil-nas. Allah presents parables for humanity to deliberate, to ponder. And to draw lessons. So what's the lesson here? And this is the lesson of Iman and A'mal. That Iman has to be so strong, deep-rooted like this tree, deep in the ground. But the branches are far-reaching and in all seasons. What is that? What does that mean? A believer, whatever the time of the year, whether it's when he got a break, whether it's when he's busy with work, he never jeopardizes the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is suitable for you and I because we're going to get a break in a few days, isn't it? But a Muslim is always conscious of Allah. There's no day where a believer leaves his salah, his deen, the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his tilawat of the Quran throughout the believer's life. We never neglect these practices of our deen. And this is what we heard today in Surah Ibrahim. So let's think what Allah wants us to learn lessons. Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam, we learn from him. Look at his life. He never succumbed to the environment. But he tried to change the environment. And you know what an environment he came from? His own father was the manufacturer of idols. Tell the Ummah this. Generally, we speak about Hazrat Ibrahim salam and the sacrifice of his son. Yes, that, what an amazing sacrifice. But what about Hazrat Ibrahim salam as a young man? As a young man in Canaan, in Iraq, in Harran, in all these towns, in Babel, he was in these towns. How he spoke to his father, but he never became like his father. How he spoke to his father, his community, his people. They were involved in idolatry. Why is it that you are involved, engrossed in idolatry? So they said, we found our forefathers doing this. But look how beautifully Hazrat Ibrahim explained to them. But our discussion today is, he didn't succumb to the pressures of the society and the community, something called peer pressure. He didn't become like that. We learn from Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. That's why this ayah is in this surah to teach us. Inna Ibrahim kana umma. And that's in the next surah. Surah Nahal, the chapter that discusses the favors of Allah. So see how Quran demands us to deliberate and learn. We can never end our studies on the Quran. We remain students of the Quran and the Sunnah till we die because there's never a time where we know everything. There's never a time. The Quran Kareem is too beautiful. So here we learn about this tree and a'mal. A believer is not seasonal. لا تكن رجبياً أو شعبانياً أو رمضانياً Now it's the month of the Hijjah. The Hajj is just complete. But be a believer, kun musliman. This is what these ayats are teaching us. So see this tree, deep-rooted. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, hadith is in Sahih Bukhari, 
He asked Sahaba. And we learned a lot of lessons to this. Who's the Rawi? The narrator? Hazrat Umar's son. So what was his name? Abdullah bin Umar. He had other sons too. But this was the most senior of the sons and the children of Hazrat Umar. Okay, obviously the most senior would be Hazrat Umar's daughter. Because that was Ummul Mu'mineen. So she would be the most senior, yes. But yes, she showed a lot of respect to her brother and vice versa. Hazrat Hafsa. So anyway, Hazrat Ibn Umar narrates that Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked the Sahaba one day, tell me about the tree, Mathaluhu kamathalil mu'min. And this tree, its parable is like that of the believer. So he asked Sahaba radiallahu anhum this. Tell me about this tree which is like the mu'min. Mathalu wa kamathalil mu'min. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked this question to the sahaba radiallahu anhum. Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu anhum said everyone was silent. No one answered. Then Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said it's the date palm tree. So the kajur, you know kajur? Kajur tree. There's a lot of parables of the kajur, the tamar in the quran Kareem, like in this parable. The date palm tree grows deep in the ground. What does that mean? What's around it doesn't affect it. It still grows tall. What that teaches us, our believers, it can be a time where we have the break, but still, prioritize Allah's command. Never jeopardize on Allah's command. Like that tree. What else we learn from the tree? Which Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explained this hadith under this ayah. So it's opportune for us to learn this hadith under this ayah. What else we learn from this tree? Sweet, dates are sweet, isn't it? Our character must be sweet. When we give advice also it must be sweet. Talk to people in a beautiful manner. Explain to them sweetly, explain to them kindly. What else we learn from this tree? People throw pebbles and stones. What does the tree give back? Beautiful dates. And the date, the kajur, gives kajur in all seasons. In all seasons. Something else interesting about the date palm tree. It's like the, like the believer and it's also like the human being. That's why in the hadith, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Akrim ammatakum nakhla Honor your aunt, the date palm tree. Then Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explained further, how is it your aunt, Amma? You can have khala, but you can have Amma. Amma is your father's sister. So how is the date palm tree our father's sister? Because, خُلِقَ مِن طِينِ أَبِيكُمْ Adam عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ the same soil Hazrat Adam السلام, was created from was the same, exact same soil the date palm tree was created from. That's why interestingly, every tree inhales carbon dioxide most of the time. Exhales oxygen. The date palm tree inhales oxygen like the human being most of the time. That's why Sahaba radiallahu were not used to this when they arrived in Medina Manawara. They weren't used to the environment of Medina, the, the Muhajirin. They were used to Makkah. The, the society was different. The oxygen was different. Here the oxygen density was a, of a different level because the trees were also breathing in oxygen. Something else about a normal tree, you cut the top part. It'll still grow. But the date palm tree, you cut the top the top part of the date tree is called a jummar. It's very nutritional. It's like the heart or the head of the tree. Very nutritional. Full of vitamins. Very expensive. But if you cut that jummar, the tree doesn't grow. You cut the top. Unlike any other tree. Like the human being. You cut off his hands, Allah forbid, he's still living. You cut off his foot, he's still living. Chop off his head or his heart, he ceases to live. So that's another parable and similitude of the date palm tree. Interestingly, if you press the date bark, there's a liquid that comes out with your nail. You can you inhale it. It has the scent of human semen also. So there's a lot of similitudes. Back to our main point, what we learn from the date palm tree. Now see the kajur is so much to learn from. Kajur. Allah in the Quran Kareem tells us, وَالَّذِينَ تَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِهِ Whoever you turn to besides Allah, مَا يَمْلِكُونَ مِن قِطْمِيرِ Allah says, why do you turn to them? All the makhluqat, they don't even own 
قطمير you know what is قطمير who knows what is قطمير جي who else جي eat the kajur there's a seed isn't it that's called a hasat hasat جي نبي صلى الله عليه وسلم said من أحصاها to count the zikr count the zikr isn't it أحصى يحصي count the zikr جي Count the 99 names of Allah. Ahsaha. Dakhal al-Jannah from the word hasat. That's also the deal of using the tasbih. Anyway, hasat. That. Nawat al-Tamr. Scrape it. After you got the date put. Right? Nawat Scratch it. Can you imagine what I'm saying? Eat the date. Seed is left. Scratch that seed. What's left? What's on the, what's on the seed? is a very very faint covering on the seed very faint very delicate very intricate most date seeds have it if you scratch it you pull it out it has no weight it has no taste can you imagine what I'm talking about you must do the exercise do it then you'll see it that wrapping that's colorless and tasteless around the date pit that is called qitmir what does our Allah say? وَالَّذِينَ تَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِ مَا يَمْلِكُونَ مِن قِطْمِيرِ إِن تَدْعُوهُمْ لَا يَسْمَعُوا دُعَاءَكُمْ وَلَوْ سَمِعُوا مَا اسْتَجَابُوا لَكُمْ وَيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ يَكْفُرُونَ بِالشِّرْكِكُمْ وَلَا يُنَبِّئُكَ مِثْلُ خَبِيرِ Allah says, whoever you may turn to besides Allah, they don't even own, not the date or the date put, not even the qitmir. فرش سے لے کر عارش تک سب مردہ ہے فرم عارش تو فرش everything besides Allah is dead and non-existent without Allah that's our aqidah and iman isn't it and that must be our yaqeen and conviction that's why we have to give this da'wat so many times for us to understand the reality that مخلوق لا يملكون لأنفسهم ضرا ولا نفعا can't even benefit or harm themselves live alone anybody else they can't even cause their own life or death live alone anybody else so that's the date, but now you get the kajur that comes from there. When the kajur, it starts, it's called tala, then it grows a little more, it's called igrid, then it grows more, then it's called khalal, then it's called balah, balah is half ripe, then it's called busr, then it becomes fresh, the fresh date, rutab, rutab, and then it gets dry, then it's Tamar, that's the seven stages of the kajur. So we learn that we must have the character like that. There was a sahabi Abdullah bin Busr, character of the date palm tree. And also we mustn't take effect from the environment around us. We learn to be like milk. You know milk, what does milk come from? Milk comes from between dung and blood. Nusqikum min bayni farthin wa damin. Between dung and blood. But look at the milk, how pure, how tasty, how enjoyable, isn't it? Milk. What can we do without milk? What nutrition in milk? Hazrat Mawlana Qasim Sima Rahmatullahi personally told me many, many times, drink milk. He used to say, drink milk. How pure is milk? How enjoyable is milk? So when you're buying, rather don't buy cold drink, buy milk and drink pure milk. There's health in it, there's nutrition in it. Buzrugan Adin say, you want to study and you, you're tired? Drink milk, read Surah Fatiha and blow inside. Allah will give you energy and strength. Now what does the milk say? Don't look at my past. I was dung and blood. Look at me now, how I have changed. And how milk changed? You won't even find a stain of dung inside the milk. And when you ask non-Muslims this, they start thinking, yeah, where this comes from? This is from Allah. Yeah. But before that, they don't understand. You have to tell them. You have to explain to them. Just today, I was making asr far from one of the masajid, far away, just outside town. So I made the azan and there's people watching me. So I, just before the adhan, I explained to them the translation. And I said, don't worry, you can watch. We won't feel offended. Then I said, we're going to pray now. This is what we're going to do. Explain to people. They want to know. So the milk says, don't be don't look at my past. Look at me now. See how I've changed. And you know how the milk changed? It changes anything around it. Put it in any other substance. It changes the color of that thing. That's how pure. So that's what we learn. Take from this environment 
And don't be like everybody else, but bring a change to everybody else. Like milk. Be positive. Don't be selfish. Oh, myself, I duck in, duck away. I'll do my own thing. I don't worry. I don't bother. Allah's order is broken. I don't even care. No. We see wrong. Be mafatih lil khair. And be magaliq lil shar. Don't be selfish. Oh, others are doing wrong. I don't care. It's haram for you and, you and I who are students. Others are breaking Allah's orders. Others are making shirk. We just go past and we just keep our own iman. It doesn't work like that. Be like milk. Change the condition of others. It's our duty. More than others. It's our duty. Change others. And make them like us and don't be like them. This is a duty of a Muslim. We have to be positive. We have to be... What did Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say? Jibreel Alayhi Salam came. And to, uh, Allah sent him to destroy one town. Isn't it? You know the hadith. He returned. He says, Allah, there's one servant who's so righteous and so salih. Allah says, Iqlibha alayhi wa alayhim. Destroy him first. And then them alayhi wa alayhim. Fa innahu lam yatama'ar wajhuhu fiya sa'atan qattu. His piety was for himself. It didn't hurt him when my order was being broken. He didn't want to bring iman and deen and righteousness and goodness to others. He was selfish. Destroy him first. And this was a previous nation. What about you and I? Worse. Because Allah directly commands us. Mm. Allah give us the understanding that we must... Be strong, be like the date palm tree, be like this tree Allah speaks about that is all the time bearing fruit, is all the time sending good deeds up to the sky, is all the time showing character and its roots are deep. Our iman must be deep rooted. You can't pull it out. Nothing can pull out that. See those palm trees in front of the Darulam, how long they're standing for ages there? Jee? Allah Ta'ala give us tawfiq inshallah. So we're going to go for this break. Make sure we go with our deen and iman as Muslims. Everywhere we go, don't let the flag of Islam fall. And be wise. Keep a few pamphlets in your pocket. I tell you, everywhere I go, even today, I can tell you Kaal Guzari is every day. Lucky I have these booklets. Everywhere you talk to people and then you leave a booklet. They want to know. They say, thank you. So keep a few booklets in your pocket. You went to the hospital, Allah save you. Maybe Allah save you. You went anywhere in the world. You went to embassy. You went to visit somebody. You went to one town. Just talk to somebody and somebody and somebody about Islam. People are waiting. It's you and I that are selfish. Make your sunnah and your bitter. And if you make four sunnah, you get the reward of those four on Laylatul Qadr. It's Sahih and Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. Allah give